Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is on writing equations. Our objective is to write two-step equations and solve verbal problems by writing and solving two-step equations. Our first examples have us translating sentences into equations. Our first, Jackie's mother is 28 years old, which is four times Jackie's age minus eight years. Well, we're going to start off with Jackie's mother's age, which is 28. Going to set that equal, which is four times Jackie's age. Well, we need a variable for Jackie's age. We might as well call it A for age. So four times Jackie's age, A, minus eight years. If you wanted to solve it, you could probably get nine years, but we don't need to worry about that right now. Five more than half a number N is negative 25. Well, let's figure out the half a number n first. That's just going to be 1 half times n. 5 more than that would be plus 5. Is is equals negative 25. So we have 5 more than half a number n is negative 25. Ralph threw a baseball 84 miles per hour, which is 21 miles per hour less than twice the speed s that Jonah threw it. Now, when they start to get this long, it is okay just to kind of break it apart. We have our 84 miles per hour. We have our is. We have 21 miles per hour less than twice the speed s. Jonah threw it. Okay. Well, we have 84 is, so the is is going to be our keyword with the equations for the equal sign. 21 miles per hour less than twice the speed. Let's do the twice the speed first. That's going to be just 2s. And when you have to think about now, is this going to be 21 minus 2s? Or is this going to be 2s minus 21 since less is going to be subtracting? Well, which makes the most sense in this context? We have 21 miles per hour less than twice the speed. Less than twice the speed. Twice the speed, 21 less than that. So it's going to be that one there. So 2s minus 21. So again, just to rewrite that, 84 equals 2s minus 21. He threw the ball 84 miles per hour, which is 21 miles per hour less than twice the speed s. Now we get to solve problems by writing and solving an equation. A baseball bat costs $41, which is $9 more than four times the wholesale cost of the bat. What is the wholesale cost of the bat? And we need to write and solve an equation. Well, the bat costs $41. And this is, which is equals, nine more, so $9 plus four times the cost of the bat. Well, cost, we could just use C. And before we move on and solve it, let's make sure it actually kind of adds up, makes sense. $41, which is nine more than four times the cost, okay. Cool. Now we need to solve for our variable c. We're going to do that by subtracting 9 first on both sides. That cancels. We are left with 32 equals 4 times c. Now we divide by 4 on both sides. This cancels, and we're left with $8 equals the cost of the bat. Today's fun fact for our math video can be found on www.mentalfloss.com. I found it interesting that the USDA, which is the United States Department of Ag Agriculture, allows the use of the term wings, spelled W-I-N-G-Z, for chicken products that look like wings but contain no actual wing meat. 
Now, they oftentimes contain some kind of chicken meat, but if you're at the grocery store with your parents and notice that you have W-Y-N-G-Z in your shopping cart, just note that you're probably eating some kind of chicken, but it's not actual wing meat. In our last example of the day, solve the problem by writing and solving an equation. Mrs. Jones earns $200 each week plus $25 for each pair of shoes that she sells. How many pairs of shoes does she need to sell to earn $1,000 per week? Well, she wants to earn $1,000, so let's say, okay, that's going to be $1,000 equals $200 each week. Well, that's going to stay the same no matter what. We have those $200 per week. It doesn't matter how many shoes she sells, she's going to make $200 per week. What does matter is she's going to make $25 per pair of shoe. So that's what's going to be multiplied. 25 times P. Where the P is going to be the pairs of shoes. Well, let's solve this equation. Let's subtract the 200 from both sides. This is going to cancel. We're left with 800 on the left equals 25p on the right. Now divide by 25 so we can get our variable p alone. And 800 divided by 25 is 32 equals p. So she needs to sell 32 pairs of shoes in order to earn the $1,000 per week. Anything more than that? Great. But 32 to get the $1,000. That is it for this lesson. Good luck.